Paul Hurst from Lyric Group here. I'm going to do a webinar on our warehouse management solution and supply chain solution for SAP Business One. Lyric Group was established in 2001 and we have customers all over the world. Our product is certified for SAP Business One HANA and also is certified for SAP Business One SQL. We use the service layer for HANA and we use the DI API for SQL. The majority of our customers are in distribution and manufacturing and we've recently been a sponsor for the SAP SMB Innovation Summits in Ho Chi Minh City, Barcelona and Orlando. We work with the SAP Business One Partner Channel globally and we've also been a part of the SAP APJ Growth Series. So why use the service layer for HANA? Our RIC Group solution, our warehouse management product, is a loosely coupled application. It uses a service layer, which is a REST-based API for business objects and processes of SAP Business One. And because it's loosely coupled, it means we don't have to install our product where the SAP Business One uh, server is. With this, uh, using the XS Engine and service layer, it gives us an advantage for machine learning, mobility, Internet of Things and blockchain. Our product is browser-based and is device agnostic. For further information, feel free to email us at sales at the visit our website, or always visit our YouTube channel for the latest videos. So let's get into it. What we've done with our warehouse management solution is we've now put in goods issue and goods receipt. So under the inventory menu, menu you'll see stock adjustments in, stock adjustments out. So let's go into the stock adjustments in. So what we can do is look at existing ones that we may have in, on the warehouse management solution or create new. And I'm gonna create a new one. So what's really important here is we've allowed the flexibility of having the different GL accounts show. So if you want a certain general ledger account to show for a stock adjustments in or stock adjustments out, we can have that flexibility. So for instance, I've got two GL accounts showing because when you make that G, uh, Stock adjustment in, in SAP. Uh, Good receipt. You need to ensure that you choose a, uh, a GL account, as you can see here. So I'm gonna choose difference gains, and then what I'm gonna do here is just select a bin, because I know what uh, the bins are, and I don't have a barcode scanner here, so I'm gonna choose a system bin, and then I'm gonna choose a product. So. Uh, obviously, I'm just doing it manually, and I'm going to add that. So you can see here, I've added the A00002 product, and I've got quantity of two. I'm going to put that against the stock difference gains account, and I'm going to put that as a goods issue in SAP Business One. So let's confirm that, and that's going to be sent off now to SAP and create the goods issue. So let's go into SAP Business One. We can see here the last one, 3333. And now we have 334. So we've got our GL account, we've got our product, we've got our quantity, and we've got the bin allocation uh, as well that we've received the stock into. So you can see here, created from TBA4, or what we know as our warehouse management solution from the RIC group. So that's how easy it is to create a goods receipt. Now, let's do goods out, or what we say is good issue. Again, you need to select a GL code. So let's go to the warehouse management solution and we can choose stock adjustments out. Create new. So for the goods issue or stock adjustment out, I'm gonna select the difference losses. I'm gonna choose a bin code as well. I'm just gonna choose a system two bin code and then I'm gonna choose another item. I might choose the A003 item and select two and add that. And we can see here in the audit, we've selected the item, we've got the bin code and we've got the GL account and the quantity, and I'm gonna confirm that. So once confirmed, stock adjustments out, you can see that I'll go into SAP Business One uh, and look for the latest 161, which is the document date of today. And we can see here I've selected the item quantity two and the bin allocation location as well. And uh, everything has come across correctly. 
So what I wanted to show you as well is if I look at this item, go into SAP Business One, look at the inventory data, and look at the bin locations that it's got for um, the Warehouse One, I can see here that A002 is in a bin location 01ANDY-2 and has a quantity of 24. So I'm going to create a new uh, stock adjustment, uh, choose a GL account, and what I'm going to do is, obviously I could just scan the bin location or scan the item, but for this instance I'm just doing a manual entry. And then when I select the bin location, then I'm gonna look for the items, the 002 item. Now what I'm gonna do is choose 25. So I'm trying to stock adjustment 25 out, or goods issue 25. And you can see straight away it tells me the WMS insufficient quantity in that bin. So therefore I cannot go back into SAP Business One issue more stock than what's in SAP Business One. So the warehouse management solutions doing a check to ensure that you actually have that quantity in that bin. So there is a video or webinar showing you how easy it is to create goods issue and goods receipt using our warehouse management solution. So for further information, please give us an email at sales at the Rick Group or visit our website and you'll have further information. Thank you for listening.